This video will show you how to use our Medical Workstation 3D Volume Viewer. Before viewing, ensure you have performed the steps detailed in the Medical Workstation videos, Installing Setup and Query and Retrieve. In this video, I will show you how to import a stack series dataset directly into the Medical Workstations database. I will then show you how to construct a 3D volume and use the 3D Volume Viewer. The first thing we need to do is import a DICOM dataset that includes a series stack. When you first open the Workstation Viewer, you have the option to download some samples we provided. We'll use some of these samples in this video. Let's import one now. From the Workstation Search view, switch to the Service Manager view. Select the Query Retrieve Store Configuration button. Each of our samples includes a DICOM DIR file, so select the Add DICOM DIR button to load the dataset. If you do not have a DICOM DIR file with your dataset, you can use the Add DICOM button and load each series that way. Once we select the DICOM DIR file, the workstation will begin importing all of the files the DICOM DIR listed into its local database. After the datasets have all been loaded, close the Database Manager dialog and switch back to the Search view. Change the source to Local Database and perform a query. Select the series and right-click. Choose Open in Viewer. The workstation will automatically switch to our 2D viewer with the series loaded. Now click on the Create 3D Volume button to generate a 3D volume. To the left you'll see 2D slices for each dimension of the volume. The topmost image is the original series. The next two are the generated slices. To the right is the generated volume. With the volume, the default left mouse button action is set to rotate in all three dimensions. You can also select the pan tool to pan the volume as well. Right clicking allows you to fine tune the volume's window level. And the middle button allows you to scale the volume. You can use the invert button to invert the colors, and you can also enable or disable the tags around the image. You'll find the button to return to the default action of rotating the volume here. The context menu used on the slices and the volume allows you to quickly access the same features found on the toolbar. We offer several different types of volume rendering. MIP the default, MINIP, MPR, SSD, and VRT. Let's select SSD. When using the volume type SSD, we also offer a dialog you can use to adjust its settings. Let's go back to the MIP setting. As large series stacks can take some time to render in 3D, our workstation gives you the ability to store the 3D volume so that it can be loaded faster. Select Store Volume to store the volume. Also, if you have performed any leveling, positioning, and or zooming on the volume, you can store the state of the volume too. Select Store Volume State to store the state of the volume. Once stored, close the volume and return to the search view. Note the red icon under the 3D column. Perform a query again to refresh the page. You'll now see that the 3D column has a green icon. 
This means a 3D volume has been stored for this series. Return to the viewer and note that we now have the option to load the stored volume. Use the Reset Volume feature to return the volume to its original values. To have a more detailed view of each slice, we also provide an NPR view. Close the 3D volume to return to the series stack. Let's scroll down through the frames to get a better image. Now click on the NPR button. Once the NPR has been created, you may have to change the number of series displayed at one time to four in order to see all the views. Click and drag on the pivot to increase the depth that is displayed. You can move the pivot point, and you can move the NPR around the pivot point. Right now, we are viewing a single cut plane. You can also view a double cut plane, or add them both together. With each of the generated slices, you can use the stack, pan, and magnifying tools and level the images as well. You can also invert the color of the slices. This concludes the overview of our 3D volume viewer.